everyone, it's me, Alex, and today's video is a cider try-on haul. I am so excited because I've been wanting to review Cider Store for the longest time. And when I say the longest time, I mean from the first time that it appeared on my Facebook newsfeed. If you're like me and you use Facebook and Instagram, you probably have encountered a cider ad. I literally have known from the moment that I first laid eyes on the brand that I was going to do a haul video. A Facebook carousel ad popped up in front of me and I took one look at it and said, that's it, I'm doing a shop cider haul. Mark Zuckerberg knows me better than my own husband and uh, he picked out a bunch of clothes. In fact, these are the clothes right here. Obviously the cookies within my computer know all my secrets and they know that I like pastel clothing. <laughs> and I was bombarded with pastel clothing in a carousel ad. Now, I'd never heard of cider before that ad. So naturally I was interested and I clicked and I had a bit of a browse around the site and I thought, hmm, looks a bit sketch to be honest. The prices were cheap. The clothing looked really, really good. And the appearance of the clothing in the pictures did not match up with the price. And so I thought, hmm, no, not today, Mr. Zuckerberg, no. But then he chased me, uh, he chased me the very next day, he gave me an ad on Instagram. I said, no, stay away. Uh, then he followed me back to Facebook a few weeks later and I said, no, stay away from me. And it, it went on and on. Look, these are all screen recordings because every time I saw an ad, I thought, I'm gonna record it. This is what I get targeted with every day. <laughs> I have no idea why I'm receiving pastel targeted Facebook ads, but here we are. I did decide I'm gonna do a cider haul and I'd been slowly building out a little bit of a wish list. Now, I wasn't planning on doing this video just yet because I have that many other videos that I've got planned. But then when Cider sent me an email and asked if they could sponsor a video, I decided to drag them up in the queue. <laughs> They're a paying customer, guys. I have to prioritize them. So that's why you're getting this video now and not in three months time when I sort of originally planned to do it. So yes, today's video is sponsored by Cider Store but I would rather walk across hot coals than lie for the sake of a sponsorship. So everything that I'm about to tell you is 100% true and it's not influenced or biased in any way because this is a sponsorship. I made it abundantly clear to Cider Store. I was like, you know, yeah, I will accept your money, please. Thank you, I do have a mortgage to pay, but also I'm not gonna say anything that's untrue. I'm not gonna talk up the products. I will give my honest opinion. And if there's anything I don't like, I'm going to say so. They were like, okay, but the only thing was that they gave me a list of clothing that I was allowed to choose from. Now, I don't usually like that sort of thing. I normally say, look, give me free reign of the website. I want to be able to pick uh, because if a brand tells me what I can pick and what I can't, I get very suspicious. So there was a list that was like curated for these are the clothes you can choose from. Now, when I saw that as part of the T's and C's of the sponsorship, I thought, hmm, well, that's a shame because the things that I was adding to my little wish list were not on the list that they gave me. There was like a pastel gradient button up shirt and all these things that I'd seen in Facebook ads, like a little red dress and all the stuff that I really wanted, but those things weren't on the list. So I did go back to them and I said specifically, I'm gonna need a bit of flexibility. I, I do need to probably review things outside of the list that you've given me. Suspicion intensifies. They said, okay. And they said that I could choose some things outside of their list. So then I figured, you know what, how about I'm going to make a tweet and I'll put it on my Instagram story and I'll ask my subscribers, is there anything that you guys want to see? And I got bombarded with requests. So many people sent me the links to the things that they wanted. So I just had to match it up and I just had to say, okay, what are the most popular items that my subscribers want? Now let me look at the list of things that Cider says that I'm allowed to choose from. Most of them were on there, luckily. Most of the items that my subscribers wanted were actually on the list that Cider said I could pick from. There were some things that weren't. And I said to them, these things have been very highly requested from my subscribers. They're not on the list. So is it okay if I get these from outside of your list? And they did say yes, which is good. It was very good. I was very glad that they had that flexibility there. Not to sound like a diva and not to sound ungrateful or demanding, but I just, I get a little bit suspicious when brands tell you what you're allowed to pick because I think, oh, it's it's a little bit like biased now because they've curated their selection of their best quality items. So that way influencers will give them a, a good review because if they send things that aren't good, obviously influencers aren't gonna say it's good, you would hope. So I, I get a bit hesitant and suspicious. So they did let me go outside of their list and show some items from outside of it. So there's a mix here today of things that 
you guys asked me to review. So really excited to jump into this video. But before we do, let me tell you a little bit about Cider. So Cider is an affordable online clothing store that offers trendy and adorable clothing at a very reasonable price. I get requests every single day to review Cider because everyone says this stuff looks great but the price seems too good to be true. The Cider store ships internationally, so uh, you can get your cute kawaii clothing anywhere in the world, and lots of people are doing exactly that. I've seen so many pictures online of people wearing clothes from Cider. I've seen a huge amount of Cider clothing reviews on YouTube. I see people wearing Cider clothes on Instagram all the time. It's like just about any cute, adorable outfit I see with brands tagged on Instagram there's some piece from Cider Store. So it's a really popular brand right now and I can see why. Obviously when times are tough and people still want to look good, dress well, but they can't splurge huge amounts of money on clothes, an affordable brand like Cider is very accessible. So I'm really excited to jump into these items and show you what is in store for us today. All right, so before I begin, I'm going to be having a look at these things very quickly because Today's the day that I leave the house to go somewhere very special. I'm going to get my second jab, which is uh, the beginning of a new life, really, when you think about it, because I've been locked in this house since June, and uh, after the second jab, I'm free as a bird. <laughs> Not that free as a bird really means much to me, because I, I will still choose to just stay at home and garden every day. But hey, the option will be available to me to leave and uh, I'm very excited to head out. I've got like an hour until I've got to be there and the reason that I'm going to quickly look at these clothes before I go is because I have to dress quite consciously for what's about to happen. Last time when I got the first jab, I actually passed out. I had what's called a vasovagal, which was like an extreme drop in blood pressure. And I just, I hit the floor like a sack of bricks. I was wearing that outfit from my secondhand luxury shopping Japan haul and uh, had the Chanel turtleneck and I had my Louis Vuitton Matisse and everything. And I just, I hit the floor. And apparently that the handbag was lying on the floor when they, they raced me off and the handbag was still on the floor for quite a while. So I was very lucky I didn't lose it. But um, because there's a possibility that that might happen again, I'm like, hmm, can't wear a dress today. Uh, I'm probably going to have to wear pants. These dresses are definitely out because we, we have an adorable little mini purple one and a very cute green one. And we've got a very beautiful long one, which I was tempted to wear because even if I fainted, it's so long that it'll cover my legs. And I also have this tiny little one too, which I know everyone's super excited about. Oh, and another one too. But yeah, no, can't, can't wear any of these. Probably not appropriate for if I hit the floor. Probably gonna have to choose pants and a top. Now I do have a huge amount of cardigans. However, the weather is far too warm outside. It's uh, 30 degrees Celsius, which is this many degrees Fahrenheit, probably like 80 degrees or something Fahrenheit. These are all going to be far too warm. These are great for those of you that are interested in a fall try on haul, fall or winter try on haul, because all of these will keep you warm. But uh, yeah, probably not great for me today. So they're all out of the question too. Look, here's another one. A two piece set. This is not going to be appropriate if I'm flat on the floor. Another two piece set. Yet again, probably not appropriate. I don't think I should be wearing this one either. Or this. So really that leaves me with a pair of jeans and some overalls. The overalls are adorable. They're actually probably out of everything. They f don't feel the best. All of these things actually feel pretty nice. I would say the quality, mm, actually this one, that one feels cheap and this one feels cheap. Aside from that, all of these things, they really surprised me, but I think I'm really only left with either the overalls or the jeans. I could wear the top because the top's got love hearts and the jeans have love hearts or I could wear this little thing. First of all, let's put the jeans on. The denim of these isn't quite as thick as the ones that I'm wearing, but it is still denim. It's not fake stretchy elastane material that's trying to imitate denim. It doesn't have the biggest zip, unfortunately. So we're at my thighs now. Will it make it over? Oh, okay, we're up. Oh, these fit really nicely. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Oh my gosh, they're actually like the perfect fit. Oh, these are nice. These are really nice. Okay. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh, I love them. This little one has a zip on the side. Not particularly comfortable. Also, 
I don't think that it matches these jeans at all. I can imagine this, you know, when I when I wear this as it's supposed to be worn, it'll be very cute. But just something about the the cutesy love heart style versus the cottage core kind of vintage antiquey pattern. No, I, I don't I don't think that it'll be this. I think it's going to have to be this one. Okay, this is cute. I like it. It's probably a few too many love hearts actually. There's so many hearts on the jeans and there's so many hearts on the shirt. It's on the print and it's on the buttons and um look it might be a little bit too much, but if I'm going to be a drama queen and faint in front of an entire clinic full of people, I may as well do it in style, right? <laughs> a little tiny bit itchy tiny little bit itchy and I think that it's because the hearts they're sort of uh, made with this kind of shiny fabric the shiny shiny fabric is a little tiny bit scratchy so it's only itching me in the spots where the hearts are which is interesting I don't remember the price of any of these things so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna play a little bit of a guessing game and I'm gonna tell you if I went into a shop a clothing store and I went oh that's cute how much I think I'd be paying for it based on how it feels and uh, I'll put the actual price up on the screen so you guys can see whether it's a lot more or a lot less because Cider is supposed to be an affordable store. So I would say this top, I would say about $35, $40 maybe for this. That's how much it is there. What do you think? Is it worth it? Hmm. Anyway, I'm ready. That was actually very easy. I might just put on a little bit of makeup and then I'm heading out. <laughs> Alrighty, I am ready to go. And I have paired the outfit with this adorable little Hello Kitty bag that I got from Chu because uh, I figured, look, if I've got red hearts on my top, I may as well chuck some red in there. I don't wear red very often. So I got the Hello Kitty bag and I have Hello Kitty slides too. And I thought, well, the white on the slides matches the white on the hearts. And then the, the red of the bag matches the red on the top. And I, I actually feel very cute. So I just wanted to quickly tell you for anyone that uh, is nervous about getting their jab first or second, one of my subscribers actually left a comment for me after she heard what happened to me after the first one. Her name's Taylor and she said, I had vasovagal happen the first time too. My stepdad is a doctor and he said for the second shot, drink a ton of water beforehand. His words, it's incredibly hard for a well hydrated person to faint. He also said, eat a very large breakfast. I then read online after you get the jab to basically start flexing your thighs, butt and arms. It'll keep your blood pumping throughout your body and stop your blood pressure from dropping. I did all of this for the second one and nothing happened. So thank you so much, Taylor. That's very helpful information. I'm gonna do that. I need to eat actually. I'm really glad that she left that comment because I would have completely forgotten to eat. I've been drinking water, but I haven't eaten. So I'm gonna go downstairs and quickly smash some food and then let's go get the jam. Stick me. Leia, what are you doing up here by yourself? Come here. Come on, let's go. Where did her head go, you're wondering? Uh... All right, well, I'm home now. Um, it's been a couple of hours since I had my jab. Uh, I feel tired. Let's resume tomorrow. Although that being said, no, no, I don't have it in me. Hello, it's been very many days. I am finally feeling well enough to carry on with what I was doing. And today, today is the day. I don't believe it's actually happening. 
I'm leaving the house for the first time as a double vaxxed person and I'm going out in public to a real life place with other real life people and I'm meeting up with my real life best friend, Sam. I have not seen Sam in four months and it's actually the longest that him and I have been apart since 2007. That's a long time. In 14 years, the longest we've probably not seen each other is several weeks. And now we haven't seen each other in four months. And today, Dan and I are meeting up with Sam and his girlfriend at Flower Power. Literally, the first place I'm going, post lockdown, a nursery. A nursery. I can't, I can't help myself. And I figured I may as well wear the overalls from Cider Store. Because does that not just seem fitting, right? <laughs> like, wear overalls to a garden center to pick up plants with my best friend and his girlfriend and to bring them back here and all do some gardening together. So I'm gonna put on these overalls with uh, just a white t-shirt, I think. Right, well, I've encountered a slight problem, which is sure to make me late because I uh, usually run to the very last second and I was like, it's fine, I've got enough time to chuck on the clothes and leave. I wasn't prepared for the clothes to require an instruction manual. I don't actually know how to do up a buckle. Maybe I should just do this in the car. I'm so sorry, Sam. I was going to be on time. There. Is that right? That, this is it. This is what I'm wearing. This is what I'm wearing out to see Sam. Okay, 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 I'm ready. I'm so nervous, why am I nervous? I'm shaking, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, it is. You didn't watch my video. <laughs> I watched it. Thank you, Michelle. Yes. It's so pretty here. The sun is like shining in and ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Look at you and Hazel. You look like the sun is like beaming down on you. Little Hazel. Hello. <laughs> how these survive Sam's driving. Hey, my driving is immaculate. <laughs> is it? Lemon yeah. will have something to say about that. If anything is moved, I'll eat my hat. And I don't wear one, so it's a safe bet. Let's <laughs> <laughs> get him. Halloween. No, it's the been dogs, decided. The dogs have decided. The council has spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Such happy dogs. This is very good for mental health. Oh yeah. What? About dogs? It. These dogs. Yeah. So I'm doing a uh, a video right now about a certain clothing brand. Yeah. So the th this thing that I'm wearing is from a certain brand. Any guesses? Cider. <gasps> How did you? What, Nanny? How? <laughs> How? <laughs> How did you work that out? Because we. She mentioned earlier. 
Oh. <laughs> 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 so you're like, ah. really popular right now. No, no, now. she mentioned like a week ago that she had done... Um, Look at her while she's a, talking sorry. to the Terrible camera man. She had done his so. terrible. Because Cider has that kind of like retro-ish feel. retro kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I want to do a video with you where you pick the stuff. Because Because there's like an entirely different side to Cider that has like um, the more... Grunge. I'll say. There you go. Yeah, yes. yeah. I was like, how do I describe? Yeah, yep, grunge. Yeah, yeah, there's some cute stuff. That's why I messaged you about them. Yeah, yeah. Michelle sent me a message a couple of weeks ago, and she's like, "Have you seen this brand? Like, I'm interested in trying, but I don't know if it's any good." And I was like, F "Funny, you should say. Yeah. I'm actually doing a, a sponsorship with them." probably like get on with it hurry up woman show me the clothes sorry that took so long had a few important life things to get out of the way but now finally I can talk about the haul that you guys picked for me and uh, to start off I put this cardigan with this skirt and this cardigan as adorable as it is it's really itchy it's a nice kind of thick fabric and something that I am starting to learn is that perhaps I may have sensitive skin I've had friends of mine that I've given clothes to in the past have said, this is too itchy for me, please have it if you want. And they've worn it and said, it's totally fine, doesn't bother me. So this is potentially that type of situation. It's so uncomfortable that I'm going to have to take it off. I love the style. It's a really warm cardigan. It's got lovely lettuce trim on the sleeves. It has the most adorable embroidery and uh, you also tie it up in two spots. So. Maybe Susan won't get quite so upset with me because there's two bows, Susan, not just one. Please, calm down. Shows a little bit of the midriff, but also it's lower at the back, so uh, it can hide my devastating sunburn. This is what happens if you're a ginger and you step outside your house for five minutes. I paired this with this skirt, and when I first picked up this skirt, I was actually very impressed. I've owned a lot of white pleated tennis skirts, as you guys might know, and I would put this up there as maybe the the third or fourth best one that I've had. Uh, and if I was not a YouTuber that talks about fashion, owning three or four white pleated tennis skirts would be absolutely ridiculous because really you only need one. But I do tend to choose them in clothing hauls because I want to be able to show people if this is in your price range, this is what you can get. Or if your price range is a bit higher, you can get something like this. This one, this is it here. This is the price. Notice I'm not saying the price out loud. I don't remember. <laughs> But I do know that it's affordable because that's Cider's whole thing. Cider's entire store philosophy is that it's affordable, cute clothing. So because it's affordable, I'm going to say that this is a $25 skirt, $30 skirt, something like that. Am I right? But if it's around that price, I think it's definitely worth it because it is actually a very nice fabric, a kind of thick smooth fabric. The inside is almost like fluffy. It's not fitting me well, as you can see here. See how uh, it's making this sort of pinched line like this? That's because it's got built-in shorts and the shorts are not long enough for me. If you aren't quite as tall as me or your torso isn't as long, they'd be okay. But this is something that I 
will always forever struggle with. Uh, and if I were to hang on to this skirt, I'd probably cut the shorts out of it because then it would sit nicely. I'm still torn on this cardigan. I, I've been wearing it for five minutes now and now it's no longer itchy. So I kind of take back what I said. <laughs> I suppose my skin is irritated to the point of being completely over it. My skin was just so irritated. It was like, you know what? Forget it. Never mind. Never, I, don't, I don't care. That's what my skin is saying. It's like, you know what? I don't care. It's fine. Fine, leave, leave the cardigan on, I'm fine. Now the discomfort is totally gone. I love this cardigan. <laughs> so let's try on this little cropped one. Now, I really like the color scheme. I really love the combination of green and pink. And these little uh, not Gucci marks kind of look like Gucci. <laughs> it's got quite a big collar on it. It's almost like one of those Sailor Moon style collars. It's really thick, very comfortable, very, very soft. But this at the front here, you can see how much shorter the front is to the back. If I kind of yank this down a bit, now it's sitting evenly, but I don't think that's how it's going to sit on me. All right, so as I suspected, uh, it's longer at the back on me and shorter at the front. If I pull on this at the front, I can't get it to be any lower. So this one is very, very cropped. And if I lift my arms, dangerous dangerous. I really, really like this as an outfit. I actually adore the argyle print with the pleated skirt. Feels very preppy, like a pastel preppy BB, as my friend Lucy would say. People have been asking me for a little while to do a pastel academia haul. I've done a couple of dark academia hauls, but people have been saying, please do a pastel academia. And if I was going to do that, this would like 110% be one of the outfits that I would put in it. I have long spaghetti monster arms and Luckily for me, this one, it comes down all the way. I think it'll also look very cute rolled up. I was right. I really, really like this. It's just a shame that it's so short, like that really short. And bear in mind, I'm totally flat chested. Like uh, I have indents. I don't even have an A cup. I have like a negative A cup. So if you have anything at all going on here, it's going to probably sit like even higher on your chest. So something to be mindful of. Now, next, this is the one that I'm probably the most excited for because this was on my personal list. If I had chosen the items for today's video, I 110% was gonna pick this one. And I was also gonna pick the pink version. It's so soft, it's so soft. We've got 70% nylon and 30% acrylic. This has the most gorgeous little roses as the buttons. And that's without a doubt my favorite detail. They're so nice. Oh, I'm so excited to put this on. Is this gonna be too much white? Who cares? All right, so when I put this on, I discovered something. I was under the impression that the roses were the buttons. They are in fact not. The roses are just sewn on. They are not buttons. When you pull it aside, there's nothing behind them. They're actually pop close buttons, which makes a lot of sense because when I was looking at this little rose, I was thinking, it's so delicate and soft. How is that holding this together? I'm gonna put it on and it's gonna pop open. No, no, it's got other buttons on the underneath. This is, Delightful. It's so soft. I'm I'm shooketh. Shooketh. I have shocking sunburn. And when I say shocking, I mean like excruciatingly painful. And this, this is like a nice kiss of aloe vera. <laughs> it's soothing my skin because it's so soft. I love it. And if I walked into a store looking for a new cardigan and I picked this up, I would personally pay $60 to $80 for this. Does that sound ridiculous? Maybe? But also, hopefully that's a testament to just how nice it is. This is so nice. It's so thick, the sleeves are long, it's very warm, the details are adorable, the buttons are actually really solid to the point where I really have to like put my fingernail into it to try to pull it open. It's not a flimsy pop button. Cause I've had a few of those. I've had a few of those where I've yawned and everything's, everything's come out. And as someone that does not wear a bra, that won't happen with this. It's in there nice and tight. This is my favorite thing so far, without a doubt, my favorite thing. Uh, next. Not next, this one. I'm gonna leave that. This is so cute. Look how big the sleeves are. This is the one I get tagged in all the time. I think just about every day, like clockwork, someone tags me in an Instagram post that shows this. They always advertise this to me and they've obviously done it to you guys as well because this was one of the most highly requested items that my subscribers asked me to review. Picking it up uh, right off the bat, it's really soft. It's not like that brown one where the brown one felt itchy. Uh, we know that it slowly 
became less itchy as I was wearing it. But this one, this feels really soft. This is made of 100% polyester, but it feels like a, a wool knit. I've got a couple of cashmere knits and as ridiculous as it sounds to compare. This turtleneck, I thrifted this in Japan and this is made of cashmere. If I close my eyes, hang on, let me just, let me just, uh, this is ridiculous. Other than the fact that the texture is different, this is chunky knit, you would literally think that this was cashmere wool. I can hear people screaming in the comments right now. I can't believe she just compared cashmere to polyester. She's so dumb. Yes, she's dumb. She also really likes this cardigan, relax. Oh my God, how's this for an outfit? This is adorable. This is so cute. I love the fact that it's got white and it's white up here and I'm wearing a white skirt. It looks so cute. I'm dead. Look how big the sleeves are. They're like balloons. My goodness, I'm obsessed with super long sleeves. So let me see if they pass the I'm insecure test. This is literally how I lived my entire high school life, like tuck every inch of me away under something big and just pretend I don't exist. Hey, it passes that test. If I lift up, it's not dangerous. The other one was that like little bit of an inch and a bit too dangerous. This one, look, I can reach up. I can, you know, play around with my fairy lights and Susan won't come for me. I guess when you roll the sleeves up, they do look a little bit too muscly. Probably would not want to be wearing these rolled up like that because there's just a bit too much volume, but wearing them down, it's adorable and it's really soft. I'm not wearing anything under this. It's not feeling itchy or scratchy. I'm actually really impressed. I'm really impressed. This is great. This next one, I wouldn't have chosen this for myself. Definitely would have chosen this. I wouldn't have chosen this one. There's nothing wrong with this style. If you enjoy wearing these types of styles, then that's great for you. I'm not the biggest fan of the kind of like grandma or, or grandpa kind of cardigan. Maybe because my real life grandpa <laughs> owned something that was like quite literally identical to this and he wore it every day. Uh, he lived well into his nineties and I always saw him wearing something like this. So I suppose when I see something like this, I'm, I just think of my grandpa and I'm like, oh no, that's not for me, that's for grandpa. But look, if you like wearing this sort of style, picking this one up, this is equally as soft as this one. It's a little bit thinner, the knit. It's not quite as chunky. Oh, you know what? I didn't even tell you. Look at the texture of this. How cool is it? It's, it's like a lumpy. It's actually, oh, it's like one of those lumpy dogs. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, so this one's not quite as thick as this one, but it's still equally as soft. I don't know what I'm gonna put this on with underneath. Like, see how it's so gaping like that? Um, what do I wear under this? Sorry, I gave up. Styling myself is too hard. I just, I've worn nothing under it. Much easier that way. And you know what? Pays off. It actually looks really cute with nothing on underneath. This is lovely and soft. And see, look, I can roll the sleeves of this one up and I don't get that enormous kind of bunching. I love how casual and slouchy this is. And I would probably pay $30 or so for this one, 35, pushing it to 40, maybe. Uh, and also for the rainbow cardigan, I forgot to give my price estimate on that one, but I'd maybe pay 50 for that one. Probably 50, maybe 55. Look, I'll be generous and say 60. This is another one that I can recommend. Uh, and if you're one of the people that asked me to pick this one, you can buy this one quite happily. You'll be really happy with it when it turns up. I actually think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it. I don't even mind that it hasn't up until now been a style that I would wear because now that I'm wearing it, uh, now I want to wear this style. This is another one that was definitely on the list of things that I wanted to pick. This reminds me of House of Sunny having a very simple, design, a very simple graphic in color block pastel colors is so in right now. And this, you know, knowing what House of Sunny costs, cause it's a, it's a designer brand, several hundred dollars for a piece like this. If I saw this and I felt it, having actually done a whole video that you guys will see soon where I tried on House of Sunny clothes, if this was just hanging on the rack with the rest of them and I didn't know this was Cider Store, this actually does feel just about exactly the same as the designer ones that I tried on. I'm not kidding in the slightest. Like it feels the same. This is made of 52% acrylic, 28% cotton and 20% viscose. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. In case you didn't hear me say it the first time, I love it. It's so nice. <laughs> it's so cute. I love styles like this. I just, I love anything that's got a, a collar, whether it's got a zip and a collar or buttons and a collar. Oh my God. Oh, I love it. The color scheme is so beautiful and it's so thick and warm. 
<sighs> You're probably wondering actually because a bit earlier in the video I was saying it was too hot to wear these things. Today's cold this cold. That's how cold it is today. You know, I was talking recently in a video where I was like, wow, the weather in Michigan is so different to the weather in California. Today is Michigan weather. Yesterday was California weather. It makes no sense. <laughs> My god, I'm gonna wear this so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get so much wear out of this. I love it. It's funny when it comes to price because when I did this video about House of Sunny, I, I tried some designer clothes and the things from House of Sunny were easily like $200, $300 each. And if this had House of Sunny written on it, I would pay $200 or $300 for it. And I'd be like, it's really nice quality. It's so worth it. Because it's Cider Store and Cider is an affordable store, I, kn I know that it's gonna be probably like 30 or $40 or something, which is so worth it. If Cider just had an option where it was like, pay what you think, I'd probably pay 60 bucks for this, I would say at least. It's so nice. It's just really soft, really nice quality. It's made really well. There's literally not a single thread out of, oh, no, I was about to say there's not a thread out of place, but this button, there's a loose thread on this button. Aside from that, it's lovely. Highly recommend. Also, very excited about this one because this, peaches, it's got peaches on it. Okay, this is adorable and soft, delightfully soft and comfortable, but can you see the problem here? It's just not sitting on me right at all. It's kind of, um, so look, it's got these delightful buttons. It's got three really beautiful shiny silver and pearl buttons that are just gorgeous when you look at them up close. The details are so nice. But if I don't pull it like this, you know, I, I can pull it around and now you can see them. But if I just stand, oh, well, I've just proved myself wrong. Before, when I first put it on, it was folded like that. It's something wrong with the draping. As I move around, it's probably, yeah, see, look. Look, look how it's sitting. Look at this distinguished cardigan. Look at how it's sitting. Look, it's giving me a shark fin on my chest. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Cause I really like the color. It's kind of a beige color. And obviously the peaches are a really soft, adorable pastel pink. It's delightful to wear. It's really comfortable. I'm not wearing anything underneath this. It's not irritating my sunburn. That's how soft it is. I would take this to a tailor and get them to take it in. They're gonna need to take all of this in. Like, look, if I just, if I gather all of that together, that's how much excess fabric there is. And fun fact, when I was in high school, uh, this is what we would do at school. We had these really big oversized sweaters as part of our school uniform, and we would all get a hair tie and tie it up like that so it looked tight from the front. I would say that this one is, again, probably like a 30, $30, $40 cardigan, I'd say. Even if I were paying that sort of money, and let's say a tailor was gonna charge me like $25 or $30 to take it in, I don't know how much tailors charge to take things in. The only thing I've had taken in was my wedding dress, and of course that was expensive. If I paid 40 for it and then paid 30 to alter it, paying 70 all up, I would be happy to pay that because of how comfortable it is. The more comfortable the cardigan is, the more frequently I'm going to wear it, and the more wear you get out of something, the lower your cost per wear. And it does feel like it's really good quality too. It does not feel like something that's just gonna fall apart after one wash. It feels like it's gonna be with me for a long time. Now, let's move on to the dresses. And this is the first thing that I'm disappointed by. This is not nice. It says 78% polyester, 19% rayon, 3% spandex. It just feels, it feels so thin and like rough. It's a really awful kind of sandpapery texture. This is disappointing. The two things when I was unboxing everything, the two things I was just blatantly disappointed by just from touching them was this one and the overalls that I was wearing. Obviously we all saw me wearing the overalls and they were cute as heck. So some of you would probably be happy to look past how they feel purely for the sake of what they look like. This would probably be that sort of thing. If you want something that looks like this and obviously someone wants it because someone asked me to review this, actually multiple people sent this to me and asked me to try this. So obviously there are people out there that want something like this. So if it's the look that you're after, you might like it, but you will be disappointed probably by the feel of it. It just feels really thin. There's definitely something wrong here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell on camera, but it's lopsided. Like the, <laughs> the left side is higher than the right side. So I'm actually, I keep having to pull the left side down to make the buttons sit equally, because if I just kind of readjust myself, the left buttons are way higher than the right buttons. There's something kind of weird going on. It's got a bit of a pinched in detail here. I think it's called a dart. 
let's say it's a dart, and if it's not, someone that knows what they're talking about will correct me in the comments below. But the dart that's here, and the dart that's here, they are in two different spots. If I tuck my thumbs into the top of it, and I pull down as far as it'll go, the right side, it comes down to here, and then I feel the resistance. This side, this will not come any lower than this. So you can see the height difference in my hands. So this is not made well, it's not sewn well, it's not constructed well. Uh, I mean, I guess if you got it and you know how to sew, I suppose you could probably adjust this dart on this side, which might help to sort of bring this side up higher. But then if I do that, look, this is now making this kind of weird, no, no, I don't like it. Uh, this next one, you know how many people asked me to show this dress? This is the 13 going on 30 dress. No, suddenly 30, no, 13. I was 13 and now I'm 30. I I don't remember what the movie's called. It's been a long time since I watched it. <laughs> don't mind my sunburn, but oh my God. I'm really surprised. This is great. This is actually made really well. I'm so surprised the amount of times that I've bought things that are like replicas of something from a movie or a TV show and it's just a really cheap knockoff. This feels like they've actually made it properly and it also could even in a way feel like if that movie was made now and you saw her wearing it you'd be like yeah she got that from Cider. <laughs> it's a really thick kind of scuba material, which is a bit odd. It feels like it would get very hot very easily. I don't know if I could do any dancing in this because I might feel a little bit too warm. Look at the way that it fits my waist. It's kind of, it's tucking in and then the skirt is actually flaring out perfectly. The straps are super elastic -y. Look at this. Look how elastic they are. They are really, really comfortable. They're nice and thick too. Sometimes when you have thin straps, they can dig in a little bit, but they're nice and thick and super stretchy. So if you've got more muscle or more mass on your shoulders or your arms, it's not gonna feel uncomfortable. The whole thing is stretchy. It's all stretchy through here, elastic through here as well. And it's a little bit short for me. And also I'm pretty sure that the dress in the movie, pretty sure it was longer, like it was a fair bit longer. This is a bit more of a playful version of that dress. But if you like it, oh my goodness, I can recommend it. It's so nice. I would probably pay 60 bucks for this dress. That's what it feels like quality wise to me. I'd say, yeah, 60, that's reasonable. It feels really, really good. I kind of want to keep it. I was going to put it on my Depop and sell it for charity because I was like, oh, people are really going to want this. But I'm kind of tempted to keep it because it's, oh, it's just, it's so adorable and it's coming into summer here. And I, I actually think I would wear this. Okay, another one that I'm really, really excited to try. I love midi dresses, M-I-D-I. <laughs> Because the amount of times I've said the word midi and everyone thinks I'm saying mini. But uh, I love midi dresses. And this, again, reminds me of the whole House of Sunny style. Love the colour combo of the green and the pink and a little bit of cream. It's very Kendall Jenner and it's really thick. I would pay a hundred bucks for this. I would. Uh, if this was from like White Fox or Princess Polly, I'd pay $120 for this. That's how nice it feels. Wow, it's so nice. I put it on with a pair of high heels just to do it justice because dresses this long just look kind of awkward when you wear it like this. But with the square toed heels, I love it. It feels so nice, it's so thick. And I love the length of it and it's actually fitting me really, really nicely. Aside from the couple of loose stitches, this feels like such a good quality dress. And if you like this style, if this is like a $50 dress on the side of website, $60 even, it's so worth it. Oh my God, you would love it. You would literally love it. Ah, look, don't look at my sunburn. No, don't, don't focus on that. Wow, I feel luxe. I feel like that that casual, opulent chic. I feel like I should be hanging with Kendall and Gigi and Bella. <laughs> All right, next dress is one that so many people have asked me to review, and this is one that I've been bombarded with the Facebook ads. They're always showing this dress. There's also like a little red one that they're always showing too. I'm excited to try it because it feels very comfortable. It's a really nice soft material and it's very, very heavy. There's a lot of elastic in the arm um, straps. Straps, is that what you call this? Sleeves, these aren't sleeves, these are straps, aren't they? It also zips up all the way at the back too. So I feel like once this gets zipped, it'll kind of cinch me in a little bit. It feels like it should be comfortable. Hmm, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh, I had such high hopes for a living and it's just, it's not fitting me right. See how it, it looks very high up 
here and it's digging in really badly here and here and it kind of feels like it should be sitting lower but when I pull it down lower it exposes all of this area here and it, it doesn't look right. If I take the straps down and leave them like that I suddenly like it 10,000 times more. By dropping the straps it lowers the waist height and now it's sitting on me much better but it's not intended to be worn like that so like it, it looks awkward. I wish that I had more of this fabric and I could get someone to sew like a little sleeve across here because if that was there, if that was one of those little mini sleeves, I would really really like this. See how now that I've lowered it, it's sitting at a good height on me too, but when I bring it up, it's just kind of... Uh, mm. I think instead of me getting someone to alter this, I may as well just sell this one for charity or donate it because someone will have the right body shape to suit this. If it is the sort of thing that would suit your body shape, I think you'd really like it. It's made really well, it feels very good quality, but I just, I can't get over the, the fit. The way that it's fitting, it's just not right. The last dress, another super popular one. This is a very soft kind of a silky feel. This is 100% polyester. It probably feels on the cheaper end, I would say. The three things that feel the cheapest would be the jumpsuit, the checkered dress, and now this one, it, it does feel cheaper. It doesn't feel bad, but it does feel kind of cheaper. It looks like it's got some good structure in it. It's got uh, boning here and in the center. It doesn't have any wire under the cups, but it's padded in the cup. So it might be good. Value-wise, just from touching it, I probably wouldn't pay any more than about 20, $20 or so for this dress because it just doesn't feel worth it. This one, if this was fitting me the way that I want it to, I'd probably pay like $50, I'd say, for this dress because it feels really, really good, just not fitting me right. But this one, it, it feels more like a, a cheaper kind of dress, like $18, $20 or so. <laughs> um, this is bizarre. <laughs> it's like a... A figure skater's costume. I, f I literally feel like I should be going ice skating right now. This is so weird. Look, it's it's nice and long in the front. And from the front on, it is creating a kind of cute shape. Something I didn't realize when I was uh, holding it up and talking about it, it's actually got a bodysuit underneath with like clips that you can clip up. The bodysuit is really long. It's actually hanging down further than it needs to. Annoying that the shorts in the skirt weren't like that because that would have been perfect. This is too long for my torso, so it's it's not fitting quite right and it's kind of dangling about down there and it feels a bit weird. I didn't realize it was going to be this short on the side. Like when I saw it in the pictures, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, okay, an interesting, interesting shape. I did not expect that. I don't think I would ever, what, what am I talking about? I don't think. I know I'll never wear this. I can't imagine putting this on and just going out somewhere. I mean, if you wanted to, if that's the sort of thing that you like to wear, then you may actually really like this, but the boning is a little bit skewed. It's actually sort of curving down and it's going off this way a little bit. It's not dead straight. It's a little bit like that yellow plaid dress in the sense of it, it doesn't feel like it's constructed very well. This little bit of boning here is only that long, but this one, is that long. Can you see the difference in my fingers? Like, look, do you, that the boning is literally different lengths from the right side to the left side. I don't like this at all. If it's like a $20 dress, maybe it might be worth it, but yeah, no, a little, little bit too strange for me. Okay, let's try something that I'm very excited about. Where is the top? On the floor, good. So you guys obviously saw me try on this top earlier, so we know that the top fits, but the skirt, the skirt is little, very little. And also, what's that? Is that a loose thread? Oh, okay, right. That came straight out of there. That's a bit weird. All right, so you know how I was talking about my grandpa's cardigan before? Uh, my grandpa had cushions just like this, like big, hard cushions. And I remember sometimes I'd go visit him and I'd get sleepy because I was a little kid and my mum would offer me a cushion to put my head on and it would scratch my face. That's what this is like. This is rayon and spandex and it's kind of rough. It's a, it is actually the material you would think it is. Like when you look at that picture and you think that kind of looks like that fabric that my grandma's couch is made of. It is that fabric. I thought maybe it would be like a thin cheap kind of fabric with this print to make it look like that. But no, it is actually that like really thick 
kind of cushion couch kind of fabric. It's nice, but yeah, something unfortunate just happened. I just breathed in and it, it, it tore. Look, it's such a shame because I actually did quite like this top. I'm not a fan of the skirt because it's got no elasticity in it at all. It's just, it's almost the same width at the waist as it is around here. Not much of a difference. And for me, I would have preferred the waist to sit a little bit higher and I would have liked it to have been a bit longer. But if I pull it down to an appropriate length for my body, then the waist kind of sits a bit low and it kind of hangs open bunny on the edges like that. And also because the top, it's supposed to be that type of like, not corset, but like a tight bustier or bustier. <laughs> it's supposed to be tight uh, and form fitting, but oh, that is my boob. That is literally, oh sh Naturally, what you're wearing needs to be able to hold your rib cage when you breathe in. And I took a nice deep breath and if I were wearing a nice tight corset, yeah, I'd, I'd feel a little bit restricted, but it wouldn't burst. But this literally burst at the seams when I breathed in. And the more that I breathe, the more it is continuing to split open. And now the split has come all the way up and that is now no longer safe for YouTube. Oh dear. That is such a shame because I really, really liked it. So if you really like this and you want it, maybe go a size up because this body-wise it's fitting me really nicely. Like look, it's, it's loose back here. It's loose here. It's loose at the sides. So it's not too tight on me just wearing it like normal, but trying to take a breath, like a deep breath, a satisfying deep breath, I, I just can't without bursting it. So maybe go a size up if you really wanted this set. I'm feeling these pieces on their own, just based on the fabric, it does feel a little bit more expensive because it's super, super thick fabric. So if I were feeling it like this and I didn't know that that was gonna happen, I'd probably say it's like a $35 top and a $45 skirt. Next, I've got this skirt with the teddy bears all over it. This one is constantly advertised to me on Facebook all the time. All right, so I've paired this cardigan with this skirt because it just felt right. The grandpa cardigan with the skirt that feels like grandpa's furniture. It, it feels right, and I think it looks pretty right too. How would you style a skirt like this? This feels really great. I <laughs> wish it had pockets. I just, argh, I love skirts with pockets. Obviously I am ridiculous because every item of clothing that touches my skin, I demand pockets. So it's a bit unrealistic of me, but even without the pockets, it's still a really nice skirt. It's fitting my waist really well. It's got a zipper and also the length of it the length is actually really good. See, see the length on me? This one's way better than that other skirt. This skirt, I would probably pay 50 bucks for it because it's so thick. It feels really, really good. I, I really hope that it's not just gonna randomly burst open at the seams. I probably need to wear this a bit more, put it through its paces, but based on my first impressions, based on wearing it right now, it's really nice and it feels really, really good. It's so thick, really well structured. Obviously you guys saw the top already. I wore that out but we haven't tried it on with the skirt. All right, here it is. This is a very cute outfit. I'm so surprised by the length of the skirt. I didn't think that it would be this long. I'm so surprised. I would so happily wear this skirt with other tops. I actually think that I'd be far more likely to wear it if I wasn't wearing it with its matching top because to me, it's a little bit too much. Good for Valentine's Day. I would so put this outfit on and go out for a, a Valentine's lunch or dinner with Dan that would be appropriate for me. But as far as quality goes, I am really impressed with this one. This is a really nice thick kind of knit. The skirt is not sheer. Well, I really like this. I think this is adorable. I do, I really recommend this one. I feel like if this were a set and you're paying for it as a set, I'd probably pay 80 or $90 for a two piece set like this. That would feel justified and it would feel worth the price. Uh, and last but not least, I have the adorable long pullover sweater that feels so, so soft. This one is 50% viscose, 30% polyester, 20% nylon, feels delightful. And I think I'm gonna put this on hmm, with the jeans. All right, so I put this on with the jeans because it, it just feels right. It just feels right to have a long sweater tucked into jeans. And it's so cute. This is so soft. This is a, another one. I'm not wearing anything underneath it. It's not irritating my sunburn. It doesn't have the longest sleeves, unfortunately. Look, this is probably the shortest sleeves out of everything that I tried on. It's really cute how the oranges actually have like a texture to them and they are a different fabric to the rest of it. They're really, really soft. They have a little bit of a, not 3D kind of appearance, but they do stick out further than the rest of the sweater. So 
I like that added detail. This is how long it is when it's not tucked in. So it's a really good length and it's interesting, I didn't notice this when it was hanging up, but now that I'm wearing it, I can see there's a really subtle stripe. Can you see that? There's like a green stripe here and then a white stripe and a green, but the green stripe is so soft. It's such a pale green that it's, it's just like barely there. It's really cute. This is so cozy, I love it. This one I would probably pay $45 or so for this because it feels so plush and comfortable. So if you were interested in buying this one, I think that you'd really like this one too. So uh, that's it. That's everything. I hope you guys liked this video. I actually really liked it. I was surprised. I'm still skeptical, you know, how at the start I told you that I wasn't allowed to have free choice over anything from the website. So I do remain a little bit skeptical, but based on the things that I've received, I can recommend the things I've recommended. They're really, really good. Obviously there's a lot on the website. And if I were you, I would still maintain a healthy skepticism. Maybe watch some more cider hauls and reviews. Look at what people are saying on Twitter and Instagram. Buy things that you know are going to be good. I feel like my overall review of the brand is hit or miss. The things that are a hit feel so good. They feel great. And I can recommend every one of those. So thank you Cider Store for sponsoring this video. I had a lot of fun. And uh, there's a bunch of stuff here that's going to be in my regular clothing rotation. And overall, I'm really happy. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mwah!